Well, we've been doing uh, research at Thompson Rivers University and looking at, at the overall carbon footprint using uh, life cycle uh, analysis of, of beef. And many people have heard that uh, cattle are, uh, produce methane, which is true. Methane is a greenhouse gas that's about 23 times more powerful than CO2. But what most people are unaware of is, is that, that the pastures, the grasses that the cattle are on, at the same time are also sequestering uh, carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. So we're finding at Thompson Rivers University, when we measure how much methane is being erupted out of the front of the cattle, um, generally uh, our pastures are more than capable of offsetting that by sequestering the carbon deep into the root systems of the plants, taking the CO2 out of the atmosphere and putting it deep into the ground. What's really uh, special about grass-fed beef is it really maintains a healthy ratio between the omega-6 fatty acids and the omega-3 fatty acids that dietitians are increasingly recognized are very important for our health. Uh, most grass-fed beef, the, the ratio is between uh, under two, four to one, and it's usually around two to one, which is about the same as, as, as what you would find in salmon. And so we get hung up on the absolute amount of omega-3 in there, but really what's important is, is the ratio of the omega-6s to the omega-3s.